Yo, what's up buggers? In today's video, we are gonna do a full review on the Trident fishing kayak brought to you from Legend Kayaks. Now, I've been paddling the Trident for well over a year and I've paddled in different scenarios and rough seas, calm seas, fished in great situations, fished in bad situations, been caught in the wind, and in this video, we are gonna go through everything of the Trident. I will leave a link in the description below. Go check out the website and just go scope around. They've got some amazing double kayaks as well. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, buggers, so we're gonna hit a few points. First off, we're gonna have the specs, we're gonna pop it up right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the stability, the speed, the space, and then the special features, what extra stuff, what, what is so special about the Trident as well. First off, stability. Now, this is something that is worried about way too much as a beginner or a newbie when, you, when you're coming to kayak fishing. Now, the Trident is 72.6 centimeters wide which is pretty wide for fishing kayak. But if you take a look at the design of the Trident, you're not gonna hit the sides. The sides aren't straight up like this. It's angled inwards. So you can paddle easy without hitting your fingers, but stability, you don't have to worry about it. You can turn around. I can stand up on it as well. My balance isn't that great, so I keep falling in. Now, with the stability and the design of the Trident, in the front of the kayak, it's got like a nice edge. Then it, what happens is it goes to a rounded shape then it goes to nice and flat, almost like a surfboard and at the back, then it tapers small again, all right? So what the front does is it, it helps you to punch through the waves easy. Then what the whole rounded front does is when you catch a wave, instead of it being like a knife like this and you catch the wave, you can't turn out now, you're just going wherever that point's going. With it being a rounded bottom in front, you can basically pivot and turn because the front's not going to be catching hard on the wave. So it's easier for you to turn in and out of the wave, which is amazing. All right, then at the back with it being so flat, almost like a surfboard, it's easy for you to catch that wave and stay on the wave as well. So that's what makes it so stable in the surf and I love it. So with the speeds, I've broken it down to three easy segments. I'll just say cruising speed, then I'll say my trolling speed, and then it'll be like chasing fish, yark speed, as we say. When I'm cruising, this doesn't mean that I'm trying to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. I'm just relaxing. I'm literally, I've got a banana and a saw me here, and I'm trying that and I'm paddling nice and easy. I'll paddle about five kilometers an hour, 6.5 kilometers an hour, nice and easy on the Trident. This is with a bit of swell as well, and a bit of wind. If I'm trying smaller lures or certain types of lures, I generally troll very slowly to get the best action out of that lure. So I'm trolling about 4.5 kilometers to about maybe six kilometers sometimes. If I've got the bigger lures out and other lip lures, different types of lures, then I'm generally gonna be trolling at about seven to nine kilometers an hour, trying to keep up at that speed. Then you're paddling nice and hard as well. If I've got no lures out, and I'm trying to chase birds, there's birds busting everywhere, or there's fish busting everywhere, and I'm trying to get there as fast as possible. Generally, I hit about between 10 and 12 kilometers an hour, depending on the swell as well. There's a saying that we say, different strokes for different folks. So, whereas I might be paddling this speed, you might be paddling a little bit slower or a little bit faster. Storage space and just space for you to move around. The seat area is huge. It's nice and big, so whether you've got a big Bushman bum like I've got, or you've got a scrawny scroll butt, all new Tridents now come with a, a built-in butt pad as well. So it makes the ride so much more comfortable, which is amazing. It doesn't have a high back support on the seat, which some of you might not like, but there is clips on the side, specially designed for backrest as well. The leg space, I'm 1.89 meters tall, and I have no issues with leg space. I've got a lot of room as well. You might feel a little bit cramped up if you are quite a bit taller. Then on the kayak itself, in front on the hull, there is so much space for you to put star ports and other mounts in that, a huge fish hatch. Now I've put my, my spear fishing equipment, my fishing equipment, my anchor system, bait box, 
and my lunch in there as well. Now, the awesome thing with that is you want to go camp for the weekend. You can pack all your camping stuff in, all your cooking utensils, everything inside the hatch. There's an eight inch inspection hatch behind you. That's got a bag around it as well. So it is quite sealed, but like everything on a kayak, nothing is fully waterproof. So we've gone through the specs of the Trident. We've gone through the stability, the speed, and the space inside and outside of the Trident. Now we're gonna go over the smaller things, the finer details. We're gonna go over the special features. Now, first and foremost, the most noticeable is the live wall. The live wall is pretty great because it's only got one inlet. So what this means is that the water level sits higher up in the live wall. So you can get more live bait inside the live wall. The bummer with this though, not having an outlet means that the water is gonna keep rising, keep rising if you're paddling the whole time. So if you're paddling very fast, that water's gonna rise up. Then we come to the smaller detail is the attachment points. There's two next to your thighs on the inside of the trident where you are sitting. Then there's another two between the rod holders, between the trolling rod holders and the upright rod holders at the back. This is for your rod leashes. Best way to attach something to this is you get a carabiner, you put it through this attachment point and you just put your rod leashes onto the carabiner on each side. It's so much easier. There's a nifty little fish bag that is made just for the hatch. There'll be no guts, nothing running inside the kayak. When I'm done, I just take the fish bag out and Bob's your uncle, the kayak stays clean. And then the other one is the paddle parker. Now this is the rubber mat in front of the kayak. It's got a bungee cord over the top. This is where you park your paddle. Another little feature, it's not something that's physically on the kayak because it is the kayak. It's just the materials that the, the Trident's made out of. It, it is really, really strong. I mean, when I've been unloading my Trident a few times, I haven't gripped it properly and I've dropped it straight onto the floor and there's just a couple of scrapes on it, but it's still 100%. That's why I'm preferring the plastic Trident fishing kayak for here in Cape Town because I can be a little bit rough with it. I don't have to worry about breaking it on rocks and that. So that's why I dig it. I know there was one more. I'll get back to you buggers now. Um, um, yo. Tell them about the transducer cutout, yes? Yeah? Okay, so, yeah. Thanks, Captain. Okay. So, buggers, <laughs> like the Captain just said now, the transducer cutout is amazing. It helps so much with installing a fish finder, not only because you don't have to drill any holes inside the hull of your kayak, there's already the cutout for your transducer. All you're doing is you're removing the block of foam there, underneath, you're removing it, you're cutting out the shape of your transducer, sick of flexing or marine siliconing, putting it up, your transducer is in the water. This does a few things. Very accurate readings of temperature, very accurate fish readings as well, and your depth as well, and you can see structure way better. Got my notes. For me, the Trident ticks all boxes. We'll just go over a few pros and cons here. A big thanks to all of you who asked me to do a full review on the Trident. I really love making these videos and it's so awesome to do. And if there's sparked an interest for you to get your own Trident fishing kayak for yourself, send us an email here below. What we'll do is we'll point you in the right direction to the closest retail outlet or retail store that sells the Trident. But if you're not close enough to get one, then all what you do, send me an email and I'll make sure you get a little Captain Gingerbeard special there as well. So thanks again for watching and we're gonna roll up some really awesome credits of the Trident crew. <laughs> Cheers, buggers.